The iconic comic adaptation Rogue Trooper is back and in glorious high definition. For players not familiar with Rogue Trooper, this is a game of betrayal and revenge as you play as a one-man army looking to lay waste to anyone that has betrayed you. The game's campaign is made up of 13 all-out action missions, all of which fuse stealth action with cover-based shooting and play out in some pretty awesome set pieces. Rogue Trooper Redux is coming to PS4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch on the 17th of October. I'll see you on the battlefield. Don't Knock Twice is an atmospheric and immersive horror game set in the same universe as the 2017 horror movie of the same title. Players assume the role of a guilt-ridden mother in search of her daughter. As you explore this eerie mansion, you'll uncover clues, all of which point to the urban tale of a demonic witch. The first-person perspective of Don't Knock Twice only adds to the game's atmosphere, and with Halloween just around the corner, now might be the time to check out Don't Knock Twice when it hits Nintendo Switch on the 17th of October. Talk You L is a unique puzzle game where you must simply control your character to the exit of each level. But your character is trapped in a hamster ball style box and with a variety of obstacles in your way, you'll need to manipulate the physics of this box to reach your goal. The modified physics edition sees improvements come to the controls of the game. Talk You L Physics Modified Edition is releasing on Xbox One on the 18th of October. Putty Pals is a puzzle adventure game built from the ground up for cooperative play. You play as two rather cute blobs who have become lost miles away from home. You'll need to use the couch co-op teamwork to navigate these blobs back home. And with colour-coded puzzles, both players have equally important roles. With the ability to whip those little Joy-Cons off and play on the go, Putty Pals may have found its perfect home on the Nintendo Switch when it releases on the 18th of October. So, are you gonna invite me in? This dildo who's been dating my mom and now he's moving in with us. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. You'll see what a stable home can be like. Hey! We can figure all of that out. There is no home, not if he's there. Chloe. This week also sees the next installment of the Life is Strange prequel series. The new episode sees the story of young Chloe Price and Rachel Amber continue. With all the decision making and story driven interactions we've come to expect from the coming of age franchise. Life is Strange Before the Storm Episode 2 releases on Xbox One and PS4 on the 19th of October. Who are you? Shit. Elliot Quest is a pixelated 2D platforming adventure game that sees you playing as Elliot, who's just a regular guy slowly being consumed by a demon. After Elliot's wife disappears, he tries to take his own life, but only to learn that he cannot die. Instead, he has become victim to an evil curse. A demon known as a Sitar is slowly consuming Elliot from the inside. He must venture across the land 
and seek help from the island's guardians, a group that had devoted their lives to stopping the Sitar from ruling the world. With dungeons to conquer, bosses to defeat and inner demons to overcome, Elliot Quest is worth checking out for any platformer fan when it hits the Nintendo Switch on the 19th of October. Judge or Jidge is a law enforcement top-down shooter that has no shame showing its Judge Dread influences. The game is set in a fictional megacity of Eidenberg, a never sleeping city that has been overrun with crime. You'll need to build and augment your own cybernetic judge or jidge and take justice back to the street in fast top down shooter gameplay. Judge or jidge released last week on PS4 and Xbox One and is coming to the Nintendo Switch on the 19th of October. If you thought Golf Story was the only golf game on the Switch, then I'm afraid you are wrong. This week sees the second golf game break onto Nintendo's hit handheld, and it comes in the form of Party Golf, an all-out wacky golf game built solely around multiplayer. You can challenge up to 8 players through local multiplayer and have over 100 game modes to choose from, but if none of them take your fancy then you have the ability to simply create your own game mode from scratch. Every hole you play is also CG generated, so there's about a 1 in a trillion chance you're going to play the same hole again. The rather out there Party Golf is releasing on the Nintendo Switch on the 19th of October. Spelunker Party is a fun platforming adventure that sees you searching for new mysteries. This caving adventure will see you come across various traps creatures and devious ghosts, all of which can be overcome with some pretty unique items at your disposal. You can venture forth in Spelunka Party alone or with up to three friends in both online and offline four player co-op. This fun caving adventure is coming to the Nintendo Switch on the 19th of October. The Count Lucina is a retro-inspired adventure game that tells the story of horror in a fairy tale setting. You play as Hans, a young boy who was awoken on his birthday to find absolutely no presents waiting for him. Upon this disappointment, Hans decides to leave home, heading for the woods, and it doesn't take him too long to stumble across what seems to be a pretty eerie looking castle. It is at this castle where Hans is met with a trial pass it and he'll be rewarded with all the wealth he's ever wanted. With influences from titles such as Zelda and Silent Hills, The Count Lucina is an adventure game that is as eerie as it is adorable and is coming to the Nintendo Switch on the 19th of October. The final game releasing this week is Real Farm, a farming simulator that challenges you to go from farmhand to agricultural celebrity, but getting there will not be easy. The game plays out in an open world, where you can choose to focus on growing crops, breeding livestock, or dab your hand in both. As your bankroll grows, you'll need to manage staff, acquire land, and ensure your farm has the latest equipment. Real Farm also features a free mode where there is no objectives so you can simply spend your time on your farm as you wish. Real Farm is coming to PS4 and Xbox One on the 20th of October. That wraps up another week of indie game releases on our consoles. 
If you're looking forward to playing any of these games, then let us know in the comments below. And to keep up to date with other indie game news and the latest reviews, be sure to subscribe and head over to indie-incredible.com.